Hey guys, welcome back to Input, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Nemesis Prime event exclusive model kit from Flames Toys. Flame Toys, I swear to God, I will get that right eventually. Um, so, anyway, as I make that promise, let's dive into this awesome, awesome first outing from this company. Maybe third outing, depending on how you count, or how you look at it, or whatever. Anyway, let's dive into it. Let's move Nemesis Prime out of the way and take a look at this box. First of all, this box art, uh, it's its so beautiful. It, it's with Nemesis Prime here with the model kit look on it, and it looks like he sliced through the building and, and came forward and is just massively messing something up. Ugh, dude, I absolutely love this artwork. Um, if I, you know what, I think I'm going to hunt this down uh, online, this artwork, and I'm probably going to make it my, my computer background because that... That is an awesome, awesome piece of art. Um, so, that out of the way. Let's get the figure back in here. And let's talk about the figure, shall we? This figure is, this model kit is, for all intents and purposes, uh, extremely, extremely well done. I am honestly blown away that th this even exists. Um, for, the, for the amount of money the model kit is, and for the amount of articulation and the amount of detail and the amount of stuff that you get for the price of a model kit this size is is really honestly astronomical to me. I, I, I really appreciate what Flame Toys has been able to do with the price point uh, of this model kit. Um, the articulation on this, as you can see, he does have, I have him posed this way uh, to show off that double jointed elbow. Uh, on both sides, so he holds up, he holds the weaponry up, you know, pretty well, and this is the pose I've had him in, um, for the past few days, um, so, now, complete disclaimer here, there are stickers in the box for everything that's, that's red, so like the red lights up here, the red lights there, and the red, uh, leg lines, there are stickers in the box for those, but I felt like th these up here and these right there were too small. So I opted to paint everything that was supposed to be red on him that used a sticker to make it red. I painted it red instead of using the sticker. Just because I feel like the stickers are too small to accomplish that. Now the stickers are reflective. Uh, so they do give off that same kind of sheen here that like these uh, these green teal pieces give off. But I'm okay with giving that up. Uh, just so I know down the road that these will stay red, these pieces will stay red instead of the stickers coming off. Now, I do recommend if you guys do get this, uh, gluing some of the pieces on. Now, this is a non-glue kit. You don't have to glue anything if you don't want to or if you don't have glue at the house, super glue, model glue, anything like that. You do not have to glue any of this on. But I do recommend gluing some of the, the, some of the pieces in place just because... There, some of the pegs are a little too small for the pieces to stay on. For instance, the, the crotch piece here, there's a peg behind the crotch piece that is a little too small. Uh, it does hold it well, but uh, like I said, it's it, one bump away from knocking the piece off. Same thing, same story with the smoke stacks on the arms and the same story with the arm uh, shoulder extension piece here. Uh, I did end up gluing this entire piece together and then putting it on on the kit now the arm and the shoulder piece is a separate thing so uh the arm and all that stuff if need be can still be detached and put back on maintenance to whatever um so yeah i do recommend gluing that gluing those pieces uh, as a must so now the only way to get this kit is at an event that tamashi nation is at where they have their booths set up that's my understanding that's what the guy at tamashi nation uh the Tamashi Nation booth told me at the convention anyway. I don't know how true that is, but I'm going to take his word for it. Now, I, this kit does run 40 bucks at their booth. I have seen the kit online uh, on eBay uh, for anywhere between $50 and $60. So it's not too bad, not too terrible of a markup. Uh, most of the $50 ones seems like the people are just trying to recoup their money, their eBay fees, and their PayPal fees, and shipping. So... You know, you're, you're basically, they're not upcharging for the figure. They're not scalping or anything like that. They're just 
having the buyer pay for all the fees and stuff that they would endure because of selling it on eBay. Uh, oh, one other thing I did glue on, I did glue on the, gla the gas tanks here as well. These snap in really good, but I felt like that they're, again, one bump away from falling off. So there is that. So uh, now the articulation on the guy is on the kit is just outstanding. So he does have your standard arm articulation. He does have a double knee joint there and the knee folds up right into the calf, which I think is really cool. He does have ankle pivot. I mean, he's got 360 degrees. Now what's really cool. I think it's really cool. The foot here is on a ball joint so you can move and twist the foot, the toe here, which I think is incredible. So you can get even more dynamic poses. He does have hip movement, uh, kind of on a like a hip butterfly joint, if you will, um, as well. And he holds his ground. He stands his ground extremely well. His arms do have a butterfly joint, in and out butterfly joint, which brings me to the next point of contention with the figure. The articulation on the guy is, like I said, astronomical. You can get some awesome poses out of this. Um, and the detail is crazy insane to me uh the spinal cord back here doesn't hinder anything it's its own separate piece so it articulates with the figure uh, as well it's pegged on and it moves with the figure which i think is an incredible piece of added detail um the butterfly joint as you can see mine has probably come apart on the inside of this figure already um the butterfly joint comes undone inside the figure uh, for the arm and now it's not really that big of an issue because you can simply pop the back piece off um, and put it all back together and put it back in place um, I don't I think honestly the peg for the butterfly joint where all where basically the joint that you have to make I really think the peg is a little too short for it to really function as a as a butterfly joint <clears throat> now what ends up happening is the butterfly joint comes undone and it puts pressure on the back piece right here so when you end up moving the the arm with the butterfly joint you end up popping that back piece off uh, now like I said it is really simple to put it back together but it's something that you shouldn't have to do so um, like I said the, I don't think the peg is long enough to really uh, to really have a butterfly joint if the peg was a millimeter longer Something, I mean, it would have been perfectly fine, and it wouldn't be, wouldn't have any issues. Um, weapon storage, he does have weapon storage. Here, he can hold the axe here. He can hold the uh, ion cannon, ion blaster there, and up there. So he has two different spots for weapon storage. Um, he can only store one weapon at a time. I haven't, I wasn't able to get him to hold both. It seemed like whatever was held up here was getting in the way or sorry whatever was held down here was getting in the way of whatever is trying to be held up there and so but truthfully i didn't try too hard so i mean i didn't want to really break anything either plus i really wanted him in this pose i think this looks awesome um the energon axe blade is a sticker as well now i do have a, one small gripe about the sticker the sticker is not split uh, so it can fold around the plastic edges. Um, so you do end up getting some creasing here. Now that might just be me sucking at applying stickers. Um, but if it's not, it, it, you know, that, then I guess that might be an issue. But I think it looks awesome. I think the, the metallic sheen of it really kind of helps it uh, come out and stuff. Um, now if you're not a sticker guy, that's totally understandable. Um, I'd prefer to paint everything myself. They do have uh, a metallic paint. Um, Krylon makes a metallic paint, metallic spray paint, if that's your thing. Um, just get some masking tape and, and mask it up and then sand it a little bit and give that paint some bite and, uh, you know, give them a metallic purple axe that isn't a sticker. Um, now, final thoughts on this guy. I think this guy is awesome. I think this kit is awesome. Um, I don't think that you can go wrong, even with the butterfly joint issues. Um, it's I can't harp on that too bad. I can't I can't bash Flame Toys for that too hard. This is their first kit. 
not not Nemesis isn't their first kit. The Optimus Prime was their first kit, uh, and this is just a holdover of that. If you look at the trees that the pieces come on, it does say Optimus Prime, and it is molded in black plastic. So this is their first kit, and I, so I can't really harp on them too much for that. Um, I hope that is something, truthfully, that they end up fixing uh, with their shattered glass version of this kit that's coming out. Uh, I think, God, I think it's at the end of May or something like that. Um, I, I'm not sure if they will, though. It just financially, it makes more sense just to, I, I guess, you know, print it in purple plastic like they did here with the black plastic. Um, but I think, honestly, if you get any one of these kits, their Starscream, their Nemesis, their Optimus, uh, they have a Thundercracker and they got a Bumblebee coming out. Uh, this is my first, you know, entry into this line, and I don't regret it. I honestly, I really don't. I just, I think the, the posability and the articulation alone, you can get some really dynamic poses out of this entire range of motion that he has. Um, I think... Uh, and at 40 bucks, I don't think you can go wrong with this type of model kit. Um, now, he is in scale with Titan's Return. He is roughly the height of Titan's Return uh, Galvatron, so Titan's Return Voyager. Um, and let me grab uh, Power of the Primes right there, Power of the Primes Dinobot right there. And so that kind of shows you how big he is, uh, how big he scales and whatnot. And so... Um, like I said, I think the figure, I think the model kit is is amazingly well done and really well put together. I don't think you can go wrong um, with any of these. I think if your favorite character is Starscream, they got you covered. Optimus Prime, they got you covered. I think this is a really cool design. Uh, and like I said, articulation-wise, I don't think you can go wrong. Um, but yeah, just be on the lookout for that butterfly joint and... Uh, I think you're all right. Uh, and if you want to lose the butterfly joint, if you don't care about that, you just want to keep have it stay together, you can always glue the pieces on the inside together. Um, so, yeah. Do I recommend this? 100%. All the way I recommend this kit. At least one of these kits. Um, and the great thing is, is that it's a model kit, right? I know there are a lot of people who don't want to paint up their toys or anything like that, but model kits can be painted. They're, you, know, you can cut them in half. You can blow them up, you can paint them up, you can battle damage them up. Uh, you can basically do whatever you want to do to them because they're a model kit. That's what they're made to be done with. Um, so, yeah, I, I can't, I couldn't recommend this. I can't recommend this enough. Whether it's the Prime, the Nemesis Prime, I'll even go out on a limb and even suggest the Shatter Glass be before it comes out because I'm pretty sure they're just going to remold the trees in different plastic, different colors. So, Definitely, definitely grab, hard recommend for me here. Um, so yeah, guys, that'll do it for me for this review. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day, wonderful rest of your day, morning, evening, week, night, whatever it may be. Um, as always, guys, I will catch you next time. And as always, cut it out. <laughs> Later.